Hi guys, Ren here and welcome to the workshop. Today I want to talk about shoes. So the shoe that I use most often is the Giro Empire SLX. This is or was Giro's top of the line model. It's very light, very aero, lace up, a pretty classic design. Uh, the only problem I had with it was comfort. After some long rides, uh, I had some hot foot issues and foot pain, which really wasn't down, I think, uh, to the laces or the tightness because I've been using this a lot and I never had a problem. And if I had one, it, loosening the laces didn't really help that. Uh, so I wanted to give up on these shoes almost, uh, which was a shame because I really like them for training. But then I was contacted by Solstar and they sent me their control insole. This is uh, their mid-level uh, insole, which provides a medium amount of support. The problem with the Giro insole that is really just a layer of foam. It has no support at all. Uh, so I think uh, that because of the, f the foot wasn't really secure in the shoe, wasn't really stabilized, uh, it caused me those burning issues. Uh, the Soul Star insole is a lot different. It's this one in particular is made from, uh, well, basically it's a stiff fiberglass insert, as you can see, continuing uh, in this area. It's uh, much, much stiffer than anything else you find in a stock shoe but not uh, extremely stiff. And Solstar sent me this one uh, so I can get used uh, to using their insoles at all in the first place because it's not very clever uh, to go for the stiffest one immediately. And I really like that. Uh, sorry, it massively improved the comfort I experienced in these Giro shoes and I've been using them ever since and never took them out. Uh, it just transformed the way uh, or the comfort of these shoes. And also, I felt that these are lacking a bit in power transfer compared to some of my S-Work shoes. And this made the sense of, uh, well, power transfer and being connected to the bike, it uh, improved on that as well. So yeah, I'm still very happy to use uh, these Giros for training and I use them every day almost. So that was uh, the control insole. But now that I've used it really a lot, and I think I've done at least 20,000 kilometers on them, possibly now even more, because that was just last year. Uh, and now I also have three pairs of S-Work shoes. Uh, Solstar offered me to send me their uh, stiffest, top of the line uh, black insole for the S-Work shoes. Uh, why I mentioned that? The S-Work shoes re require a bit of a different uh, sized and shaped insole because of their wide, much wider forefoot area than in the Giro's. Uh, interestingly, both types of shoes fit me very well, so I'm not too picky about that. Uh, but the difference uh, between this insole and that one, well, the main features are the same. So you get the metatarsal bat button, I think that's the way it's called. You get the heel support, you get the raised arch, uh, but the big difference is, you can see, this is actual carbon fiber. Uh, so not that it's just black colored, this insole, it's much, much stiffer. And in fact, it's super stiff. So this uh, should provide the most support, the most power transfer. But maybe it won't be as comfortable. It's not really suitable for those leisure or endurance rides. But for racing uh, and time trials, ideal. So I have gone ahead and tried these in my s shoes. These already have a better transfer, as I mentioned, than the Giro's. Uh, but the problem is that no matter how much of an expensive race shoe you buy, the insole you get is just... Well, actually, the specialized insoles are quite well designed. They have arch support, not aggressive, but they do. They have the metal button also. But it's still just a piece of foam, not, not very stiff or supportive at all. So uh, the Soul Star builds on those features. You can see it's similar, but it just really provides that support. The thing I don't get is why bother with the super stiff carbon soles and sole plates if you then 
put this in between your foot and that sole. So that's where the sole star comes in. Actually, they have done some independent testing that proves that you actually gain power or should I say not lose as much power when sprinting, when using an insole like this. And if you compare the stiffness, then it's not hard to believe. But then again, uh, I have tested these shoes, not a huge amount. Uh, by this point, just a couple of rides and a 50 kilometer time trial. And that sense of being connected to the bike and transferring the power is just second to none, really nothing that I've previously experienced. Super stiff, super, super planted. Even if I leave the Boadals, almost almost lose uh, the narrow and grabby heel cup of the Asperx shoe combined with the support from the insole it just creates for a super planted feel. I haven't really done any sprint training on it uh, as of now because I'm preparing for time trials but I'll be curious to see how the sprint power shows compared to my previous numbers when using these insoles. As for sustained efforts, they definitely feel very, very well. I've had to do long rides uh, on it, but considering that I get on very well with the controls, I don't think there will be any issue with the blacks. So if you want the ultimate in power transfer, in my experience, Solstar Black Insole plus any of the S-Works shoe lineup, and you're pretty much dialed. Okay, so, uh, this is all for today about these insoles. I hope you have found this information useful. If you want to know more about the equipment that I use for my training and racing, then don't forget to tune into the channel and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.